Interpreting the symbols and iconography of headstones is not as straightforward as it might seem. Memorial creators and the deceased rarely left notes prescribing meaning to the selected imagery, shapes, and designs behind specific monuments. For example, the obelisk is a common form for 19th century monuments in Forest Hill, and undoubtedly you may even see some behind me here. But it is unlikely that family selected that design because of its connection to the Egyptian sun god Ra and its appearance as a beam of light shining down on earth. It is more likely they selected it because of its sheer popularity following interest in Egyptology in general during the 19th century. Further, the meaning of symbols, such as common Christian symbols, can change over time. When developing an interpretation, we examine sources of inspiration and attempt to draw meaning from those sources, including classical antiquity, Christian and religious precedent, floriography, organizations, and the biography of the individuals themselves. We're going to take a moment to look at the Eleonora and Delia Brown monument, which you see right here. This memorial features an incredible amount of symbolism and some challenges to building an interpretation. The, more, more, the memorial pairs mother and child with symbolism representing both the individual and also the pair. The open book on the left can indicate wisdom, but in this context, it is likely that it represents the Bible and the faith of the mother. On the opposite side, the lamb, is a symbol of innocence often associated with memorials for children. The angel, a messenger between God and man, in this context, may specifically symbolize a mother welcoming a child to heaven. Eleonora um, was married to James Hardy Brown. And after she died in 1870, he remarried and is uh, buried elsewhere in Forest Hill uh, with his second wife. That's a little unusual uh, because it seems that the pattern was the uh, other way around, that usually you would be buried uh, with your first uh, spouse. In any event, James and Eleonora were Yankees uh, that moved to Eau Claire in 1858, and therefore they're known as uh, a pioneer family. That's the way they were referred to. Um, these uh, uh, people who had come before 1860 uh, were subsequently referred to as pioneer families. And there was even an organization, an association of pioneer families in Eau Claire. Uh, James uh, went to work for Chapman and Thorpe's uh, lumber mill. And he later man managed uh, other lumber mills for the Northwestern Lumber Company. And uh, their son, uh, Charles, is also buried in this plot with his wife, uh, Frances. And in addition to uh, Delia, uh, another uh, young infant um, daughter of Eleonora is also buried here, and that's Clara. Uh, 